This is probably the most popular mugshot in Singapore. If you lived in 2008 Singapore, you would have seen this poster everywhere as this man terrorised Singaporeans when he broke out of a jail and vanished into thin air. This is the story of Mas Selamat Part 1. Mas Selamat was born in 1961 in Kendo, Central Java, Indonesia and grew up in Kaki Bukit, Singapore where he lived a typical childhood in a kampong. He went to Kaki Bukit Primary School and was known to his neighbours simply as Selamat. Fast forward to the early 1980s, Ma Selamat married and had five children in a flat near Bedok Reservoir. Ma Selamat joined the Singapore JI terrorist cell in 1992 and a year later was transferred to Afghanistan for training and discussed numerous terror plots including hijacking a plane from Bangkok and crashing into the Singapore Changi Airport. According to Singapore intelligence officials, he escaped from Singapore in 2001 just before authorities launched a huge operation to apprehend 13 suspected JI members. Mas Salama was then arrested in February 2003 on the Indonesian island of Bintan to assist Indonesian police in their investigations into various explosions that occurred in the country between 2001 and 2002. However, because Indonesia and Singapore did not yet have an extradition treaty, he was not handed over to Singapore upon his release. During during his time in Indonesian prison, he shattered his left leg in a botched escape attempt where he leaped from a high floor, leaving him with a permanent limp. He was arrested again on January 20, 2006 in Java for using a bogus identity card while visiting his son who was claimed to be studying at a religious school there. Ma Salamat was then turned over to Singapore on February 3, 2006 after Singapore requested for his extradition. He was then held in Singapore without trial under the Internal Security Act. Then, on the fateful day of February 27, 2008 at 4.05pm, the JI leader escaped from the Whitley Road Detention Centre of the Internal Security Department where he was being held. The story was that his family was paying him a visit and while he was being escorted to a room to visit them, he requested to use the restroom. He then used the opportunity to escape through a window. What they thought was a toilet break turned out to be a break from the toilet. Stay tuned to part 2 to learn how Mas Lamat was caught.